really gotten to be very good at yeah. I got a Use some primitive Here's Scott. Do it in blood. <laughs> 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 What are we doing here? We're camping out and looking at all the archaeology stuff. What is what are they finding here? Mm, they're trying to find like some artifacts of the um, Indians. Like they found these places. They dig down. You find these places where maybe the Indians were back back in the ancient times. I have mud on my shoes. So, so if I get sand in sand, all the sand will stick to the mud. So it'll look like sand is all over my shoes. Stop the light. So you sit down you and if you just stack it up here, put the little tiny stuff reaching in there, it'll eventually go like a fuse. It'll be a slow fuse, but it'll, uh, it'll go. Got some rock there. Hey, Joe. Further, some of them are stuck together. Just be aware of that. Oh, you gotcha. You've been uh, more. Let, let me know if I'll um, more wood because. Okay. Just put them there. Oh. Just put it in the chest. Nope, these are walnuts. Black walnuts. Yeah. And uh, there. you can find stuff in here. Yeah, this is how I do it. Now we have little rocks today. There we go. Does my lip look better? You want to try a piece? Oh. There you go. See that? Oh, here. Look at this one. That's an easier crab. Seems just a pile, just like that. Yeah. Forgotten what they There we go. You can probably pick that one all the way down. Now, once you get good at this, you can also take little rocks and treat them the same way and break the rocks and get a lot of sharp edges and a lot of drill bits. You want trouble? It's a cucumber, doesn't it? Oh, this is better right there. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that opens out. Does it? That's interesting. Does it? Oh, in that clay pot right there? That's where you throw it. Watch it. Mm, not yet. Watch your pot. Oh, yeah. Mine. <laughs> no, no, it's not popping yet. Popping. It's popping. Okay. Watch out. You got to catch, you gotta catch it? Oh, okay. That was quick. Lucy, that was uh, see it? Not very much. Get another handful. Okay. Throw it on oh. in real quick. Can I do it? Here. Oh, here you go. Yeah. yeah. Here, get it in here. Throw it in real quick. Oh. Come on! Pop, 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 pop. Come on, pop. <laughs> You know, when oh, whoa. Harsh. I should throw a little oil in. I think it, uh... I think oil went... <coughs> Here, throw it in. <coughs> oh! Well, wait a minute. Let's wait just a moment and we'll dump this load. And we'll just do it again. All right. Ooh. 
Also known as goodies. Here we go. Here we go. Don't you be careful now. Oh, look. I found an arrowhead. It's a tiny one. Uh, no, that's just a flake. It's a flake like from somewhere somebody had made one? Yep. That's See, that's like, so it getting. is. <laughs> if it isn't a root and it doesn't fall through the screen, it's safe. And it's not a, yeah. If it's not organic. Most farmers probably had a smooth board up here so it's not more shock and dressing. So that way they can take care of just about everything from. But it also keeps the mosquitoes away. And you put it on, it's such a deep, you put it such a quantity on it also. If you decide to land on you, they die. They, they get stuck in it. And there's a lot of deer and what else? So you walk around. What other animals? Right back then they had a lot of bear in there too. Oh yeah. A lot of deer. A lot of deer. A lot of deer. A lot of deer. All those are animals. A lot of friend of mine eats raccoon. That's going get you again. It's just, it's just going up your leg. What I'll walk them to do is peck them down. You can peck them real easy. Um, I'm just using it as a platform yeah. Right. Yep. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll take them and just reshape. I mean, I don't like them to do a whole lot of So you want it, you, you don't really want friction on the rock. Right. I want to, that's, that's the business, the business end is down here, so I want to reduce my friction up there. So I'm going to make this a little bit thinner so it's not hitting so much of the sides. I don't mind if it's blunt at the tip, because I don't want to dig through, but I, um, but I don't want to have a lot of, you know, I don't want to be fighting on that top side. I want that to be gliding so easily that it's almost effortless. Right there. It's a good thing to have a good soft hammer. So get into limestone territory, get some limestone. They're soft like that. And so what I'm doing with this is, um, you know, I take this, I mean, this has really got to be stable up in here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to lock this into my, I'm going to lock this part of my elbow, this part of my wrist, into my shin right here. That's not deep enough. I can see what's going on here. Um, half of my soot. Same problem that time, but I got enough dust built up that I think it's going to work over here. So it's still smoking, and what I need to do is get it loosened from this board so we can get some air. I've got enough time to let that coal set up. I can put some of this polypour inside of my polycore. Mm -hmm. This is cracked cat polypore. It's a local uh, fungus that has the quality of being a great coal extender. They 
And this just serves to really keep your fire, keeps that coal extender really helps dry everything inside there out and helps keep it from, uh, even if this is a wet tinder bundle, that poly pour would be a great thing to keep it, get it warming up and dry. I'm just going to scrape that in there very carefully. You want to give it a little air? Sure. Let me pick it up for you. Okay. Give it some air. Let me, let me face that same direction with you here. Okay. Go ahead. Nice and nice and easy. Not really hard. Not really hard. But there you go. Slow and steady. There it is. You want to give it some air too? Not too hard. Very good. Looking good, yeah. Almost there. I think you got it. Yeah, look at that. That's the fire going out. Very good. Here, Scott. Nobody has a pen. Oh, I'm sure we've got some over there. Scott, do you sell your books? Not all of them. No, no. There we go. Have you been? I've been good. So, what are you making here? I'm, I'm working on thinning the biface out. I'm making a biface, and it's not working too well. What is a biface? A biface is a piece of stone that has gotten flake, have had flakes removed from both faces. So. This is a face, and that's a face, and I've removed these flakes from both sides of the of the surface. Is that a particular tool you're trying to make? I'm trying to make a biface, which can, which is basically a preform. You know, so you make a preform, a thin biface, and you can shape that into many different types of tools. You can shape them into scrapers for scraping hides in wood. You can create all types of woodworking tools. You can make knives, points, all kinds of things. So, one year to have someone here. But what do we call him? Boots. Because he stole one of the guy's boots. Uh, well, both of them, I think. Really? He likes to play like Max. This was like a giant, giant swimming pool. I'll jump in it. <laughs> 